All right, two words, Mark Curry. Now the former Bad Boy recording artist, as well as Sean Puff Combs' ghostwriter, Mark Curry has been making the media rounds ever since his explosive new book, Dancing with the Devil, How Puff Destroyed the Bad Boys of Hip Hop, was released er earlier this year. Curry is behind Puff's 1998 smash, Come With Me, featuring Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page, which resulted in Mark winning an ASCAP award for Songwriter of the Year. And he's also the man behind Puff's other smash hit, Bad Boy for Life. Mm -mm. Mm, 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 you know, that kind of shit. Can we, we can curse, we can curse. <laughs> okay, now we got all that official mumble jumble out of the way, let's go ahead and get to this book. When I heard about this book, I knew that I had to run out and get this, get this. This book was everything that I thought it was. 199 pages about everything that you thought you knew about Puff, pretty much confirmed. Did the Notorious B.I.G. really won off Bad Boy Records? But what was really going on between Puff and Mace? I'm just saying two trannies, Harlem and Atlanta. Mark Curry answers everything that you have and he held nothing back as we chopped it up on the Couch of Truth right here in the Studio Plex Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm telling you now, stop, hit the pause button, get your popcorn, get your mind right, let's get into it. For someone who I Walking from this book seems to care a lot about what people think. But how were you able, how did Puffy let you write this book? Well, first, it's, it's not about him letting me do anything. Okay. Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a grown man. So, as long as I'm, I got my own feet, my own hands, my own body things that I need in order to keep it rocking, mm -hmm. I could do whatever I feel I, I can do. With, I was making sure I don't do anything to, um, to hurt anybody else who don't need to be hurt or Involved. I just address those who I need to address. Okay. Two is one thing we always remember is the truth will always set you free. Yes. And, and one thing about the truth is it can't be denied. Mm -hmm. And now let's talk about that because you know in your book you talked about pretty much you know Biggie, you talked about Tupac, you talked about uh, Mace and right. a whole, Shug, a whole bunch of other people. From your perception how, right. how bad was the contract between Biggie and Bad Boy? Like how much money was he literally being robbed of? You guys know what it is, Giant, Giant Unplugged TV, back for episode two. I am your host blogger, Giant with GiantUnplugged.com and I have got to give an overwhelming thank you to everyone out there that supported our first episode with Mark Curry. Now if you didn't see it, you know me and Mark had an intimate well, not intimate, but interesting conversation about Diddy, Mace, Bad Boy, Puff, that whole situation. Yes, the blind item was interesting, but we're not going to tell you who it is, so please stop emailing. I have to swallow when I say this. Oh, oh, okay, go ahead. She got to swallow. Come on. When I got out of prison, yes, if it wasn't for her, I would not be walking the red carpet. Shout out to God. Listen, that only in America can you go... My baby... Yes gave me so much encouragement. Mm -hmm. No matter how I look, mama, you are beautiful. You are beautiful mama. You know mama, you are fine. Now hold on, now. I remember speaking to you a couple weeks ago and you told me that you were getting into music and that you were starting record label. Well, no, I want to produce because there's some artists out there that really deserve a chance that's giving positive R&B and positive hip hop. See, I'm so jealous right now. What are you drinking, girl? I need something. These nuts. I'm, I'm Thank you, Mama. I'll see you later. Are you ready for the mess? Giant Unplugged TV is back with episode three. Now we gotta get into it. Usher and Tamika are still going at it. Apparently Floyd Mayweather does not like the gaze, and Leona Lewis gets Chris Brown at the... What's up, John? Can I get the autograph? Uh, all right, man, what's your name? My name is Keith. Keith what? Oh, 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 oh. You know, no matter what side of the fence you're on, whether you're pro Diddy or, or against Diddy or don't have an opinion either way, everybody agrees that he definitely did shine wrong. Definitely. There were, that, 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 that was the most ultimate and blatant disrespect and disloyalty that you can prove to everybody. Because, you know, just, I'm sorry, just looking at your book, you know, you, you, you talk about how you met Shine. You talk about, you talk about, and people don't know this, you talk about how, you know, Shine's parents and his mother, you yeah. know, asked Diddy, or pretty much said that, he, that they'll only allow this if Sean, Mr. Combs, takes accountability and be his parental 
basically, yes. His, his, his personal unit while he was doing that. And, and, and clearly that didn't happen. No, Shine used to be in the house with me. Shine is like, Shine had became like a younger brother to me. Like, to this day, I still love Shine. Mm. You know, like, I love my little brother because it was... Now, RhymesWithSnitch.com is reporting that Jay-Z's main man, Larry Johnson, of the Kansas City Chiefs, is in hot water and has been suspended from the NFL over some Twitter messages that he got into with a fan where he allegedly called a fan the F-A-G word. I mean, listen, I'm going to try to be respectful a little bit. According to the site, Johnson will not be able to participate in any games until after November 3rd, which equals a $60,000 revenue loss. Now, listen, Jay-Z's best friend, trust me, he's going to be good at the end of the day. But I mean, I love the gays like everybody else, but I mean, why can't you say what the hell you ever want to say these days? It's kind of crazy to me how you can say one thing about somebody and now you're getting suspended from work, you're getting this, you're getting that. Freedom of speech is good. Jack, you're a fan! <laughs> Wait a minute. And speaking of Jay-Z, his former protege, Beanie Siegel, seems to be very upset and, of course, has taken to the microphone to air Jay-Z out. Now, you know, hip-hop is full of gimmicks these days, but a new track that's dropped on the internet called Average Cat has Beanie going in on Jay, Dame, and that whole Rockefeller situation. Now, you know, I don't give a damn, but we'll go ahead and play a little bit of audio just for the hip-hop fans out there. Take a listen. And my gangster was a never on trial, but I was stood up tall, no snitch. But the rapper Sean called the police on me, cause I was front row at the Blueprint 3. Jeez, I just wanted to see him MC. Got it. Good. <laughs> 